Look out! I see a trap nearby. Away from me, alone. Likely story, Wolf. Go on, piss off. Help. You lone wolves kick the shite out of me and send me into an accursed minefield where my cart gets blown up and up. What could you possibly do that's worse than that? Likely story. Go away from gods. Damn it, I am. The ghostly elf stands protectively over his corpse, eyes darting across the minefield. His gaze never quite falls on you. You are a warrior, proud and true. You saw your people die as the death fog consumed the forest. You heard them scream and then fall silent. You came for revenge, and you... Careful now. That's a trap. spirit seizes you by the shoulders, but you feel nothing. His eyes are panicked, and he appears to be shouting something, but you can't hear him. He screams on, but with another's voice. An elven child, in terror and in pain. The fog, the fog, the fog! Those screams will never leave you, even after your death. Guards ahead. They don't look friendly. The spirit stands with her feet apart, arms at her sides, palms up. She appears to be chanting something, perhaps a prayer to the sky, but you hear nothing. You are a dancer, a lover, a jester, but then the death fog takes the forest and all you know is gone. The screams of your people echo in your heart. You become a warrior. You die fighting, all play forgotten. The spirit turns to meet your gaze. You feel heat upon your skin. The acrid stench of charring flesh assails your nose. And you can hear screaming. The agonizing cries of people burning alive. The spirit, mute, holds out his hand towards you, palm upwards in supplication, his eyes pleading. With a blast, the heat surrounds you. The hair on your forearm shrivels and dies. Flames dance across your vision, and the screaming, the screaming seems to fill your very existence. And for a moment, you are the spirit before you. Your name is Cyrus Oates, and you are in a tavern with your friends. But someone has barred the exits and set the place afire, and you know that it's your fault. Your friends scream for help that will not come. You know that outside stands the lone wolf Pigsbane, and that he was paid to kill you. You know Pigsbane listens for your screams. All you can do is die proud. 
Your name is Cyrus Oates, and you will not scream. Sweat streams from your pores. The roar of the flames drowns the screams. Cyrus Oates begins to burn. He does not scream. You feel your flesh blister and char, your head crackle and burn. Cyrus Oates bares his teeth as his lips are burned away, but he does not scream. You try to close your eyes against the pain, but your eyelids have burned away. You haven't breathed in what seems like hours. You desperately want to scream, but Cyrus Oates did not scream. In a flash, the flames are gone. The spirit of Cyrus Oates gives you a long and knowing look. Now you know the truth. Cyrus Oates died in agony, but Cyrus Oates refused to scream. Step past this point and I will kill you. I want to kill you, so go on, take that step. Impressive work getting past our defenses. Now turn around and see if you have the same luck going the other way. What do you know about Sirius Oaks? The guard's face blanches, then returns to color. He looks you quickly from head to foot, the faintest flicker of uneasiness in his face. You got business inside? You ought to make it quick. of a woman locks her gaze on the lone wolf sentry. Say my name, you son of a sow. Easy, Engrim. Say it. Say my name. And then you are her. You are the young woman Edie Engrim, seduced by a boy. But to become a lone wolf, he had to pass a test. He had to murder the woman he loved. He passed the test. And you were murdered. And all the time you knew him, he never spoke your name. She turns to look at you and... I was Edie Engram. He draws his wands. You're in my space, stranger. Feel free to... Suddenly he's interested. Suddenly he's on edge. Who are you to her? Mother? Daughter? Sister? Lover? He leans forward and... Mm. No. And push no further, or we shall have a problem. He considers, and comes to the conclusion that it's not worth his while resisting. E... I, I mean... E... Ah, oh, hells, forget it! His eyes narrow, and one yellow molar appears as he begins to sneer. Edie Ingram. She was always at her most beautiful when she was angry. A smile spreads across his face. She'll be waiting for me in the halls, and she's gonna be pissed. The spirit of a woman locks her gaze on the lone wolf sentry. I hope it burns your tongue to say my name. Don't think yourself at home for what you did, lone wolf. But me... I... She turns and looks you in the eye. Then she dip... Elderly mage glowers at the lone wolf sentry, muttering wordlessly. He jerks his head to look at you, but says nothing. Then he opens his mouth, and you can clearly see the tip of a crossbow bolt protruding from the back of his throat. The spirit clutches his mouth in shock, and then realizes what has happened. He removes his hands, and the crossbow bolt is gone. He can speak once more, if painfully. Thank you. He turns and points at the lone wolf sharpshooter. Kill him. The sharpshooter turns from his silent watch over the mill and it's... Never knew you 
to be sentimental. Logical, not sentimental. Maybe that's why I ain't landed a mark in a while. I'm unhappy. Or maybe I'm just horny. The whiff of chemistry assails you. You know that it's all in your imagination, but still your throat constricts, your stomach turns, and your vision swims before you. As your vision clears, the spirit is revealed, a lizard. He has eyes only for the lizard lone wolf who stands before him. He turns to you. He looks insane. He takes a deep breath and exhales. A cloud of greenish gas envelops you, and suddenly you are him. You're the Black Widowmaker, deep down in black shadows, setting your latest creation to paper. A deadly brew that looks and tastes like an elixir, it's your best work yet. You sip a celebratory tonic, and you realize you've made your last mistake. Your throat constricts, acid burns your guts, your heart slows to a halt. You slump forward. A kin appears, a lone wolf. She takes your book, but you're already dead. He intensifies his gaze on the lizard lone wolf before him. An elegant lizard lone wolf smokes Drudene through an ornate pipe. She turns one eye on you, raises the brow above it. It wasn't I who switched his drinks. Besides, his death saved lives, so let's hear no more about it. Summing up... She puffs upon the pipe and blows the smoke towards you. When it cleared... So tired of it. Not none of yourself. They personal. Yeah. I hear you it's bored. They may be, you know what. But they sure as shite can fight like it. He laughs and puts another fletching bear there in.
ending.
and a whiff of chemistry assails you. The spirit of the Widowmaker gives you the broadest hook of a smile. You have... He fades away. He holds out his hand, index finger forward. A spark crackles between you. Visions flash before your eyes, you using the air to cow your foes, or mastering water to leave them cold and helpless, or watching them fall as the earth moves beneath you. Choosh. He touches the tip of his finger to yours. Your mind opens, and use. he dips his head in thanks, raises his index finger to his temple. Look out! I see a trap nearby. If Hardwin were to receive her head, it would make his day. I'll leave that with you. He raises a hand in salute. Careful, I've spotted a trap. You hear the roar of fire, the crack of burnt awnings falling. The spirit stands before you, silent among the wreckage, his skin half melted down his face. He turns his gaze towards the corpse of Lone Wolf Pigsbane. His peeping skull cracks into a grin. He turns, the spirit's grin lingers as the spectral flames around him fade. Skin reforms around his skull. He is a... Please, not no. Something's wrong in the camp. Please, not.
come for me again. I know you do. I know I only have to wait. Do we return now? To the others? My people wait for me nearby. I show you. I show you where they wait. I see them behind. <laughs> 